across the finish line, I realized that you know all this hard work that I put into it for the last two years, you know, had paid off. And it was I wasn't expecting to win, but when it did happen, it was an incredible experience. I didn't realize that after doing that, just what effect it would have on physical therapy. Losing his leg to bone cancer at the age of 15, Todd Schaffhauser became a gold medalist in the 1988 Summer Olympics for the 100 meter dash, creating a world record for the sport and sparking a revolution in the Paralympic world. Met Todd actually in 1986 uh, is when we met and we were, I was just fortunate that I was put in touch with the same gentleman, David Balsley, and we started training together in 1986. Dennis O'Lear, also a Paralympic gold medalist for a below the knee amputee, had met and worked with Schaffhauser almost 30 years ago. Two years later, I also became the fastest leg amputee sprinter in the world as a below the knee, a uh, four-time Paralympic gold medalist in three different Paralympics. Um, and my 100 meter time was less than two seconds behind the great Carl Lewis. Set. Go. I ran, how fast I ran, the way I ran, people had never seen that before. So it was something that truly being a pioneer at that point. I was 19 years old. I didn't really understand all that going on at the time, but all these years later now, I understand what people have these conversations and say, you know, I remember that race, and that race really changed a lot of things. O'Lear and Schaffhauser's personal success has been an inspiration to others, proving that you can do whatever you set your mind to. And that really opened up an entire world for Todd and I, and that's how we began these programs, by doing these running clinics, which quickly changed into the amputee walking school because the goal was to push the Paralympic movement forward to try to find more Dennis Oles and Todd Schaffhausers. And the reality was when we were doing this, um, that's not who was coming out to the program. It was your moms, dads, grandmothers, and grandfathers who didn't get enough rehabilitation. Their stamina and determination to do the impossible had inspired this team to create the amputee walking school an immersive training and physical therapy program that aids to amputees of all ages. I went from hanging out, sitting home, doing not much of anything, limping everywhere, to being back to out, walking, doing, you know, whatever I have to do. I look up to them, I mean, that's awesome, you know? I mean, you know? I mean, I'm just having trouble, just having trouble walking, they're running, I mean, that's, that's great. Through training and education, the Amputee Walking School has helped over 20,000 amputees gain control of their life again. If your general population of amputees came out through the program, your diabetic vascular patients from the ages of 50 to 75 years old. So they wanted to come out, not to run, just to learn to do more. Partnering with CareRight Services has now allowed the Amputee Walking School to not only help all ages in the Long Island community, but in 45 cities throughout the country. We have this whole mentoring program that we do is so that when you know, somebody is contemplating amputation, we'll meet with the family, we'll talk with the family, and um, help them to understand what the future is going to be like. Before they came to the hospital, had no knowledge what was going on. And when they came to the hospital, they told me, you're in for a long haul. And believe it or not, you don't realize how much time you put in, but it pays off. They said one thing that stuck in my mind. You're going to have a good life. Not, a be not particularly a better life. You'll have your stumbles, but you will have a good life. And to this day, I agree with them 100%. According to the CDC, more than 500 Americans lose a limb each day. Roughly 2 million people live with limb loss in the United States. It's been Schaffhauser's and O'Lear's mission to travel the country to show amputees like Harris their potential. There is no other programs. We haven't been to any. You know, I've been all over the place. There's nothing else like it. You know, physical therapy isn't like it. You know, it's just different. A lot of balance training because you will lose your balance. Shifting of weight, okay, from your regular leg to your prosthesis. Uh, strengthening of your good leg and the muscles in your, in your bad leg. And it's not really bad, it's good again. This we got to live in love every day, right? We got to get you home. We got to stay motivated to do it. Who would have thought, you know, uh, going back to 1988 when Todd and I competed as Paralympic athletes, um, wasn't even on our radar screen to work with amputees. Now here we are, 28 years later, where we've worked with over 20,000 amputees all over the world. I was very fortunate that I met them. Uh, through them, I was able to focus, uh, not worry. First time I put the prosthesis on, I walked. 
okay? The second time I put it on, I walked stairs. And that was right in this facility. And it wouldn't have been done without the help of these two gentlemen. Way out. Two hands, uh, one hand, no hands. Everybody motivates me when they come to the program. It's something that, that fuels us to you know, travel the way we do. Travel 175 days a year doing the program. So it's something that you need that kind of motivation to keep you going. You know, my kids couldn't wait for me to get up and start walking it again. I got two great granddaughters that are two years, one's two years old and one's six months, and I get down on the floor and play. So I'm fortunate. I'm very fortunate and very blessed. Giving physical and emotional support to these amputees shows them that there is a future, and one step forward is one step gained. I'm really proud of what we're doing as a group. You know, there's very few uh, opportunities in life where you can say every single day we make a difference. And every single day at our facilities with CareRight, we make a difference for people every single day. It's, it's extraordinary, it really is. For Push Pause in St. James, this is Dana Loifen.